Question 23. Fill in the three missing whole numbers in this calculation. Each number is less than 10. So you've got something times something times something equals 105. Now, 105 is in the 5 times table. And so we're gonna, one of the numbers will need to be 5 to make it in the 5 times table. So you can put that number in at the end. So all we need to do now is figure out what the other two numbers need to be so that when you times them together and times that result by 5, you get 105. Well, we can do something clever here. If we do 105 shared by 5, so 5's into 1 won't go, carry the 1. 5's into 10 goes twice. 5's into 5 goes once. So 5's into 105 goes 21 times. So these two numbers must times together to make 21. So can we think of two numbers less than 10 that times together to make 21? Well, you can have 3 times 7, can't you? Because 21 is 3 times 7. So let's try putting that in. So we've got 3 times 7 times 5. Now just as a double check to make sure it makes 105, let's check it. So 3 times 7 does indeed give us 21, so that bit works. And is 21 times 5 105? Let's have a look. 21 times 5, 5 1 is a 5, 5 2 is a 10. It is indeed 105. So these three numbers seem to work. 3 times 7 times 5. Of course, you don't have to put them in that order. You could have put 3. 5 and 7, or 7, 5 and 3, or 7, 3 and 5. Whatever order you put them in, as long as it's 3, 7 and 5, it will get the right answer. The only trick with that one is to make sure you spotted that 105 was in the 5 times table, like we said here. So 5 has to be one of the numbers, and that is your clue then to start unlocking the fact that 521s make 105, so 3 times 7 makes you 21. So there we go. But that is the hardest question on the paper, so it is a level 5 question.